episode uh, we'll see how can we create a bucket uh, under s3 that is a simple storage service so for that i have uh, logged in into my amazon console and i am into s3 uh, services so s3 services you can uh, go to s3 by click on uh, look, look for s3 under search bar and uh, once you click on s3 uh, you will be into s3 console page or else uh, you can uh, go to this particular uh, s3 services uh, click on this services option under that uh, look for storage uh, click on storage and on the right side uh, you will see s3 so once you click uh, this storage s3 uh, you will be under, in, in the same page the way uh, we went from a search bar right so uh, before uh, i you know uh, start creating a bucket uh, there are certain bucket naming rules which i uh, wanted to uh, talk about so uh, s3 basically simple storage uh, service is basically a object level storage wherein uh, what i mean by object level storage is that uh, you should be able to uh, store any object so any file whether it is a media file or it's a music file or any your database any data can be stored uh, it will be it will be stored at the object level so any objects can be stored uh, no matter how the size is uh, this can be stored and uh, for for a bucket the maximum size is 5 terabyte right and a bucket naming it has to be a lower case we will see the uh, like we'll try to create uh, bucket names with with all those naming rules also a uh, more important part is that uh, per account uh, you can create 100 buckets but uh, if you want this limit this limit can be uh, increased but we'll have to request for that also uh, nested uh, buckets uh, we cannot create what i mean to say is that uh, bucket under bucket will not be able to you will not be able to create that so let, let's see, uh, let's try to create a bucket. Uh, we'll upload uh, some files uh, in the bucket and we'll try to access that bucket from a, uh, like a public space wherein uh, from my browser or outside uh, this uh, Amazon account, we'll try to access. So uh, to create a bucket, click on create bucket. Once you click on create bucket, uh, you need to give bucket name. So let me give some bucket name. My first bucket or let, let us try to give some upper case so my first bucket uh, 2707 let's give today's date come down uh, i can have any reason so uh, generally uh, we prefer to choose reason uh, uh, suppose you are in india so we, we just go and select the uh, asia specific reason right it's mumbai so so you can choose a reason as per your uh, uh, like, like uh, choice so that is not an issue i'll keep it as us east one okay now important point object ownership so here uh, you suppose uh, you want to have this bucket uh, access from a public space you need to have access control list is here enabled and make sure that you select object writer right so uh, and uh, remove this uh, uh, public block all public access so three three points you, you need to make sure so i'll repeat it again acl enable if you want uh, to have this bucket uh, at uh, having public access make sure you have acl enable click on object writer come down and uh, uncheck this block uh, all public access and acknowledge that it is asking that since you are you are giving public uh, permission so it is asking for some acknowledgement and click on create bucket now since i have given uppercase in my bucket name it, it won't take because this is, a, this is a one of the rule of bucket name wherein you need to have a lower case so let's let's change it let's have it uh, as right my first bucket i'll i'll keep it acl enable since i want to have public access object writer and i have removed all public access so it is all good let's come down create bucket so once you click on create bucket uh, if if at all that bucket name has not been taken by any any other uh, uh, person rather any other account holder uh, across uh, aws globally you should be able to create so as you can see our bucket has been created and also objects can be public so uh, whatever objects i i have uh, in this bucket I, I should be able to access it 
so let's let's go inside this bucket and try to upload some files so uh, to upload uh, i'll click on upload let us select some file so under upload uh, add files so let me have this file suppose docker notes right and upload so it got uploaded yes let's go back close this let's go back and just we'll see so let's come down we'll just try to check the permissions part first so under permissions if you see as uh, i can see uh, read access is not yet enabled right so uh, what what we'll do we'll just first try to access this uh, url let's go to properties copy this object url and we'll just try to access from a browser. So I have opened a new browser. I'll just copy this. Let's see. So it see uh, as you can see access denied. So I'm not able to access this particular uh, uh, like uh, file which I have uploaded in my bucket. Why is it so? Because we have not given the read permission. So as you uh, see in the under permissions, let's go back and I'll show you uh, once again under buckets. Uh, if you go to your bucket, select your uh, file that is your uh, object under that go to permissions and under permissions if you see uh, the read permissions are not yet enabled. So what uh, how to enable it? These are the basically access control list. So click on this edit button. Once you click on edit button, uh, just make sure select uh, read. Come down and it will ask for some kind of uh, like uh, just a, a simple uh, authentication uh, access it's asking for I understand the effects of this change because it's it's a public right so we, we have to check that as well and click on save changes so once you click on save changes and uh, let us go back to permissions and seems to be all good so let us try to access this URL again from browser same URL see I'm able to access so that same uh, PDF right I'm it's getting opened here right so this way uh, what we have done uh, we have created a bucket we have given a public uh, access so objects can be public so uh, so that uh, we should be able to access it via browser right so just please try it your end and uh, uh, do do let me know in the comment section if at all uh, you face any issues. Thank you.